You're watching headlines today. I'm Maha Siddiqui. A very happy Holi to all our viewers. We're getting breaking news from Maharashtra. Shiv Sena protests uh, are going on outside the NCP office amid speculation that Shiv Sena spokesperson Rahul Narvekar is likely to join the Nationalist Congress Party. In fact, I remember that Shiv Sena spokesperson Rahul Narvekar, who recently withdrew his candidature from the Legislative Council elections, had met NCP Chief and Union Agriculture hey, Minister Sharad Pawar. Viren Singh Gunawat is now joining us with more details. Viren, why such anger over one person trying to move from the Shiv Sena to the NCP? The big, uh, the big question arises here because the, the Rahul Narvika is not a small uh, face in Shiv Sena. He was a spokesperson for Shiv Sena, a big face and a very uh, uh, a strong financial uh, muscle power uh, from Shiv Sena. Now, he, uh, in, the, in fact, you, uh, the press conference has begun and Rahul Narvika has been uh, welcomed by the Ajit right. Pawar and others. Uh, you can see, so it's a, it's a big debate, uh, you can say for Shiv Sena, big blow, blow for Shiv Sena that a big face okay. is moving to NCP. So that could impact Shiv Sena uh, maybe in the election. Thank you. Also, Viren, if you could take us through exactly what is happening at the moment uh, as far as these protests are concerned. The protest is because the, uh, the Sivsina believes that it's a backstabbing by Rahul Narvika joining NCP party without even uh, giving a hint to the party, without even, even discussing what is the problem uh, he's facing in Sivsina. But uh, if, whether it is going to affect the Malwa's seat, where I, uh, uh, it, the sources are saying that uh, Rahul Narvika might get that seat for the Lok Sabha election against Sivsina. Uh, and आज आता दुर्गोड़ी चली मित्र तैनिक करने संभले ही आने आज राहुल नारवे करना टेंशन उगड़ मध्य आसना रहे कर दरी काम आने यहाँ सजा सब विचार तो पक्ष नित्रुत्वानी तन्ना उम्मीद वाली दिले ले उद्या पसु अन्य पद्मेर आसे कर्जत कलापुरा से मावल आसे जा सजा भागा मधे उम्मीद और अच्छा संभले पक्ष चे कई सरकारी � कांग्रेस और राष्ट्रीय कांग्रेस पक्ष चाहिए कि तरह कार्यकर्ता सब बिलावा क्यों? जैसा हम देखते हैं, जगह कार्यकर्ता ना मार्गदर्शन करें से कि मार्गदर्शन ना करना। पुणे अच्छा, जिल्ला में दे चार लोग सब अच्छा जा गए था। बारामती, शिरो, मावड़ और ये पुणे। क्या चार लोग सब अच्छा जा गए थे कांग्रेस पवार साहेब आणि राज्याचे मुख्यमंत्री पृथ्वीराजजी चव्हाण साहेब यांच्या उपस्थितीत काँग्रेस आणि राष्ट्रवादी काँग्रेसचा एकत्रपणे मेळावा पुणे शहरामध्ये आयोजित करण्यात आलेला आहे सुरुवातीला या महा एकंदरीत देशातल्या ज्या काही निवडणूक आहेत त्याच्यात आपल्या महाराष्ट्रापुरतं बोलायचं झालं तर काँग्रेस आणि राष्ट्रवादी काँग्रेस हे एकत्रपणे सभा घेऊन जनते समोर कार्यकर्त समोर जा रहा होते परंतु मध्या का प्रचंड अशा प्रकार की गाफी अनेक ठिकाणे कार्यक्रम हे पूरे ढकलावे लगे बीड का कार्यक्रम नाशिक का कार्यक्रम वीस तारखेला मात्र मुंबई में एकत्रपने सभा घेना बदल मुख्यमंत्री महोदया ने मैं संगित कि मी उद्या सांतो परंतु उत्तीचा कार्यक्रम आप प्रमाण मुंबई शहरा में देखें कांग्रेस और राष्ट्रवादी कांग्रेस चेयर एकत्र सभा की विस्तार के लिए आयोजित कर ठिकानी करने का लिया है अंतिम विस्तार के लिए मुंबई जांच के लिए तार बाकी चाहिए वेग वेग या भाग में वेग वेग या तार का या पावर साइबानी आनी त्या देख लिया समाज के लिए हमें कहीं कहीं उपस्थित रहना आहो पहले टप्पे अत्यंत तर इधर बात लिया मतदान मुना रे इधर सगे उम्मीदवार चाहे साले ले प्रत्येक जन अपने अपने काम वाला लाग लिया आजुनाई कहीं राजकीय पक्ष अंचे उम्मीदवार के काल भोली चे ना दुर्बली ची सुट्टी आसले मन जाए करने ताले लेना � पक्षा की जाहिर करती 
आणि खऱ्या अर्थाने प्रचाराला त्या त्या भागामध्ये त्या ठिकाणी सुरुवात होईल हे पण मला ह्या निमित्ताला आपल्या सगळ्यांच्या लक्षामध्ये आणून द्यायचं आहे एकंदरीतच या गारपिटीच्या निमित्तानं आमचे मुख्यमंत्री स्वतः आणि गृहमंत्री आर आर पाटील अनिल देशमुख आणि हर्षवर्धन पाटील हे चौक जण राज्याच्या वतीनं पंतप्रधानांना भेटण्याच्या करता पवार साहेबांना भेटण्याच्या करता पी चिदंबरमजी असतील सुशील कुमार शिंदे साहेब असतील या सगळ्यांना भेटायला गेलेले होते त्यांच्या भेटी पण झाल्या आणि एकोणीस तारखेला केंद्र सरकार केंद्राच्या एका एक समिती नेमलेली आहे त्यांची मंत्रीची एक उपसमिती नेमलेली आहे त्याची बैठक ही त्या ठिकाणी होईल आणि त्याच्यानंतर त्या संदर्भामध्ये केंद्र सरकार काय मदत करणार आहे हे आपल्याला सगळ्यांना माहिती पडेल साधारण पाच हजार कोटी रुपयाचं जे काही गारपीट झाली त्याच्या संदर्भातली मागणी ही केंद्र सरकारकडे करण्यात आलेली आहे अर्थात हे सगळं करत असताना आचारसंहितेचं नियमाचं तंतोतंत पालन करूनच या सगळ्या परवानग्या घ्याव्या लागणार आहेत आता या निवडणूक आयोगाला पण त्याबद्दलची विनंती ही करण्यात आलेली आहे त्यांनी स्पष्ट सांगितलेलं आहे की आता प्रचलित जे काही नियम आहेत त्या नियमाप्रमाणे पुढे जाण्याच्या करता कुठली अडचण राहणार नाही तो काही नवीन निर्णय नाही नैसर्गिक संकट आल्यानंतर अशा प्रकारची मदत ही केली जाते आज देशामध्ये महाराष्ट्रापेक्षा अधिकच संकट गारपीठाचं मध्य प्रदेशमध्ये झालेलं आहे अशी माझी माहिती आहे त्यांनी पण त्यांच्या परीनं केंद्राकडे मदत मागितलेली आहे आपण पण केंद्राकडे त्या ठिकाणी मदत मागितलेली आहे आणि एकोणीसला केंद्राचा त्याबद्दलचा निर्णय त्या ठिकाणी होईल परंतु आजच आपले शेतकरी अक्षरशः हवालदिन झालेले नावमेद झालेले खचून गेलेले काही काही ठिकाणी बातम्या पण येत आहेत की इथं शेतकऱ्यांनी स्वतःचं संपूर्ण जीवन संपवलं आणि आत्महत्या त्यांनी त्या ठिकाणी केली माझी ह्या पत्रकार परिषदेच्या निमित्तानं राज्यातल्या तमाम शेतकऱ्यांना आग्राची नम्रतेची कळकळीची विनंती आहे की बरोबरीच हे अस्मानी संकट आहे अतिशय मोठं संकट आहे आणि हे सगळं संकट पाहिल्यानंतर काही काहींच्या मनामध्ये हातातोंडाशी आलेला घास गेल्यानंतर आता आपलं पुढचं भविष्य काय आपल्याला राहणार आहे आपल्या मुलाबाळांचं कसं होणार आहे प्रपंचाचं कसं होणार आहे ही अशा प्रकारची एक भीतीची भावना त्यांच्या मनामध्ये यायला लागल्यामुळं काही जण स्वतःला संपवण्याचा प्रयत्न त्या ठिकाणी करतायत वास्तविक ह्या रस्त्याने जाऊन आपल्या बाकीच्या कुटुंबाला उघड्यावर टाकून चालणार नाही त्याच्यामध्ये आपण सगळ्यांनी धीर दाखवला पाहिजे कुठल्याही परिस्थितीत तुमच्या माझ्या देशातला राज्यातला असं संकट आल्यानंतर शेतकरी मोडता कामा नये तो त्या ठिकाणी नावे होता कामा नये ही खबरदारी सर्वांनाच मिळून आपल्याला त्या ठिकाणी घ्यावी लागणार आहे परंतु ह्या सगळ्या बाबतीत मार्ग काढत असताना पाठीमागा जो दुष्काळ पाडला तेव्हा आचारसंहिता नव्हती अतिवृष्टी झाली त्याही वेळेस आचारसंहिता नव्हती आणि त्याच्यामुळं काही निर्णय आपल्याला तातडीनं घेता आलेले आहेत आता मात्र आचारसंहितेची थोडीशी अडचण असल्यामुळं त्याबद्दलचे पुढच्या कार्यवाहीला थोडा अवधी लागतोय ही गोष्ट मी अतिशय विनम्रपणे त्या ठिकाणी मान्य करतोय मुख्यमंत्री महोदयांनी मला सांगितलं की बुधवारी संध्याकाळी आपण मंत्रिमंडळाची बैठक त्या ठिकाणी घेऊया कारण बुधवारी एकोणीस तारीख आहे एकोणीस तारखेला कदाचित सकाळी केंद्र सरकारची ती जी समिती आहे मंत्र्यांची त्यांची बैठक त्या ठिकाणी होईल तिथं काहीतरी ते ठरवतील ते आपल्याला माहिती मिळेल आणि मग संध्याकाळी आपण पण काय करू शकतो आणि केंद्र सरकार काय करू शकतं वास्तविक हे सगळं करत असताना राज्य सरकार याबद्दलचा जो निर्णय येणार आहे तो पण आम्हाला जाहीर करता येणार नाही तो जाहीर करण्याच्या संदर्भात निवडणूक आयोगाने स्पष्ट सूचना दिल्यात की ते मुख्य सचिव चीफ सेक्रेटरी हे सगळं जाहीर त्या ठिकाणी करतील Viren Singh Gunawat our correspondent is still with us Viren what is the reason the reason that is being cited by Rahul Narvekar for having switched over to the NCP uh, the press conference is still going on the Ajit Pawar the senior leader of NCP is still uh, talking and welcoming Rahul Narvekar and Rahul Narvekar has not spoken about uh, the reasons why uh, uh, why he has left uh, Shiv Sena but the sources are saying that he was uh, he was quite unhappy Shiv Sena was not willing to give his uh, a uh, ticket of malwar and that that is strong uh, regions of from where rahul nagar can gather num maximum number of votes 
So that is some some kind of a disappointment from the Shiv Sena, but definitely it's a big. Uh, it could be a big blow to Shiv Sena because he he was a spokesperson for Shiv Sena and a senior uh, strategist um, uh, within uh, Shiv Sena party. Uh, whether it would uh, uh, affect the Shiv Sena vote, vote banks in Malwar area in Maharashtra, that needs to be seen. But yes, it's, it's quite a, uh, one more good leader had joined the NCP party, the Shiv Sena party, and it would be a moral. Uh, a disappointment for Shiv Sena because the, it's a young, he's a young face of Shiv Sena and a uh, few minutes back he has seen the opposition. Uh, so Shiv Sena, a few workers had arrived at outside NCP office. They were shouting that uh, uh, Rahul Narvika is Qatar. He's, he's, he, 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 should, he shouldn't have uh, left his party. So, but I think Rahul Narvika had a need to explain what exactly was, really was the problem with Uttar Thakre and why he, why he left the party. But yes, uh, it would be a, a, a point kind of a blow to Shiv Sena on a younger face. Thank you. Viren, can you give us the latest details of the protests that are happening outside the NCP office? Uh, it, it, it was just 20 minutes back when the, the, at least 10 to 15 uh, uh, people, uh, workers of Sikhina, they had uh, just reached uh, at the NCP office and they had shouted slogan. And in fact, the police bandhubas was quite good. And I think they were expecting some kind of you know, protest might take place from Sikhina. But yes, uh, never, never before had it happened when, when one party one party worker had joined another party and the, this is, and the one then the same party workers had protested outside the second party and this this is the first time that Sina is protesting outside NCP office for just for, for with a disappointment that one senior leader has uh, left the party and joined NCP the Sharad Bawa party because most of the time where we have seen in number of speeches where Buddha Sase and the late Bala Sahib Sase used to criticize Sharad Bawa for number of uh, issues, policies and uh, the, the way uh, state administration really takes place. So definitely uh, 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 a very disappointment from Sina but yes, it could be a, a very advantage uh, from NCP to getting one senior leader in their, uh, in their uh, group for the for the uh, forthcoming Lok Sabha election. And uh, Viren, did Rahul Narvekar give any indications in the recent past that he might move to the NCP? No, not at all, not at all. That, that's what the shocking part is that and that's why the protester had arrived few minutes back at the uh, NCP office with, the, with their anger. So because even if, if, if it was some inside internal problems, he, he should have talked with uh, Uttar Pakistan, he should have talked with uh, some senior leaders of Sikhina, but that didn't take place. Even, his, uh, they, even in most of the this last uh, one month, uh, we have seen number of uh, headlines in the newspaper stories, even in Marathi papers. Never in none of the articles it was uh, in hinted that Rahul Narvika is dis disappointed or anger. But yes, the sources within very close to Rahul Narvika was seems to uh, telling headlines today that he was quite disappointed in the way the strategy was planned within Sivsena and he was sidelined uh, in most of the uh, most of the uh, planning uh, which was uh, done by Sivsena for, for their forthcoming Lok Sabha election. But yes, Rahul Narvika is might get a Malwar team from NCP uh, to fight against Sivsena in, in next uh, few days. Thank you. Also, Virain, can you help us understand the blow to the Shiv Sena with uh, Rahul Narvekar moving to the NCP and what areas are likely to be affected? Rahul Narvekar was a young face uh, of uh, Shiv Sena. The, the big uh, uh, challenge before Shiv Sena right now is that most of the young uh, Marathi Manu face and the Marathi wo uh, uh, workers who belong uh, who, who used to belong to Sivsena, they are moving to MNS, they are moving to Raj Patre. And we, we have seen certain division between Marathi voters, between Sivsena and MNS. But most of all, all the time, uh, Sivsena used to criticize uh, NCP Sharad Pawar for the state government policies and all. And this Rahul Narvika was a spokesperson of Sivsena, a, ma a, a master strategist within Sivsena. And now, because he knows uh, the inside out of Sivsena and definitely if he is moving to the uh, another party, the NCP, that should definitely give an aid to NCP to know the inside out, the weak and the strong point of Sivsena for the forthcoming Lok Sabha election. And, and, and most important, he was a young face with a, with a maximum number of uh, uh, vote banks uh, from Malwar and uh, most of the other parts of Mumbai city as well because he, he, he he's, a, he's a young face of, um, we have seen uh, Rahul Nabek in most of the debate and discussion. He used to uh, talk about the, the uh, okay. the, the strong point of the Sif Sena, but now he has gathered all the intelligence and now he has moved to NCP. That right. might benefit NCP at the end of the day. All right, Rahul Narvekar, the face of the Shiv Sena, he was the spokesperson of the party, has moved to the NCP in a sudden press conference today. He appeared with Ajit Pawar there and protests broke out outside the NCP office by Shiv Sena workers, visuals of which you can see on your television screens. Virin Singh Hunawat, many thanks for getting us all those details.
All right, let me get in Majid Memon right now on uh, these developments that we are seeing on the political front. Sir, was there any buzz in the political circles about uh, the possibility of Rahul Narvekar moving to the NCP? Uh, well, you see, I am sorry to see on your screen that there is a lot of hulla gulla going on and some kind of people you know, collecting outside NCP office and resorting to violence. This is only an indication of desperation in that uh, political party. You see, this is not fair. A Rahul Narvekar is an educated a lawyer, as a matter of fact. A young lawyer mm -hmm. whom I admire because we have shared the debate several times together. Although our ideologies were different because he represented Shiva Sena, but even then I would say that he is a bright boy. And now that he has taken a decision that well, well he would want to follow Sharad Pawar and NCP's ideology and policies, he is most welcome. We are just receiving him because he is coming of his exercise of his free choice. Mm -hmm. Why should there be so much noise? Now, this, is, this indicates that either there is total desperation in the uh, Shiva Sena quarters or that they feel that it's a great loss for them. In either case, you know, it is a political disadvantage to them. I think they should have quietly taken it by their side. So many people come, so many people go. So, uh, you should not feel that, well, exit of a particular person, you know, is uh, to be taken as seriously as uh, you have been uh, back now. Well, sir, that is understandable that uh, you're saying that they shouldn't have created that ruckus outside the NCP office. But their point is that they, this has taken them completely by surprise. He's a young face of the Shiv Sena. And uh, as you were yourself pointing out, it's a big blow to them and a gain for the NCP. But Sir, whether it's a gain to NCP or not would be seen now how it will be instrumental in promoting NCP cause in the coming election. But certainly it's a loss to the Shiv Sena. You know, he was, till yesterday, he was a spokesperson, a young, bright spokesperson of Shiva Sena, who is deserted for reasons known to him alone. And therefore, it is not that somebody has instigated him, or it is not that somebody has, has uh, tried to tempt him or uh, pull him around. It, he has taken a wise decision after uh, consult, uh, consideration of various facts and circumstances concerning his own career. Okay. And he is much of a leader. And thereafter, today, I find that Ajit Dada Pauk is inducting him into party. I would welcome him and I would definitely want this man to be more committed to the cause of secularism which NCP uh, uh, proposes. Okay, Majid Menon, many thanks for speaking with headlines today. So Majid Menon making it very clear there that it was his own free will that uh, Rahul Narvekar chose to move from the Shiv Sena to the NCP and the protest that broke out outside the NCP office by Shiv Sena is totally something that is... Uh, not done because he is a person of his own free will and he's chosen to be part of the NCP now.